Having been born and brought up in Jaipur, the first city of India which was properly planned, I have always sort of been into town planning. However, having lost my town to chaos, owing to the government's complete lack of vision, and then having moved to Mumbai, which again is a bit of a bittersweet chaos, I always thought to myself, is there really a properly well-planned, smart city in India? So when we were flagged off at Hyundai's fifth edition of the Great India Drive, we decided we are going to unravel Chandigarh, the first planned city of post-independence India. This immaculately well-planned city has stood the test of time and is planning ahead for the future. The city beautiful, as they call it, is beauty with some real brains. Let's discover what makes Chandigarh a truly smart city, which has made us proud with its illustrious past, inspires us with its present, and will guide the way for urban living in the future as well. So let's embark on a journey into the city's past, present and future with the equally smart and charming Hyundai i20 N-Line. Fasten your seatbelt guys, this is going to be one interesting journey. It might be considered a divine sign that the most immaculately planned city of India sits right on top of the ruins of Harappa. Another immaculately planned city from 5000 BC known for its urban planning and elaborate water supply systems. It's just 3 meters of silt that separates these two legendary cities. So how did Chandigarh come into existence? When India got independence, Lahore, the erstwhile capital of Punjab, went to Pakistan and there was a need for the Indian state of Punjab to get its own capital. So, in 1949, American planner and architect Albert Mayer was commissioned to design a new city to be called Chandigarh. But Mayer stopped work after his architect partner, Matthew Nowicki, died in a plane crash in 1950. Thus came the master designer and architect Charles Edward John Ray, famously known as Le Corbusier, into the picture. The Swiss-French master planner is considered a global pioneer in modern architecture and is known for his no-fuss, laser-like attention to detail and functionality. Le Corbusier took some elements from the earlier design by Mayer but was largely driven by his own philosophy while creating the plan for the city and designing its buildings. Le Corbusier put his heart and soul into the project. For him, the city was akin to a living being, replete with a brain, heart, lungs, veins, intellect, and Bissara. The Capitol Hill complex is the pièce de résistance or the crown jewel of Le Corbusier's work in Chandigarh and this is supposed to be the brain of the city that he so fondly built. This is the assembly where the elected representatives sit and make laws. That is the secretariat where the bureaucrats and the ministers sit and work. And this interesting edifice that you see here is the Tower of Shadows and it was an experiment to demonstrate that there can be a structure which is open from all sides and it can still be cool inside even on a hot day. There you have the High Court and there in the distance you have the Open Hand Monument which symbolizes peace, prosperity, the hand that gives and the hand that takes. Chandigarh is for one and all, it's for everyone and it also represents the unity of the mankind. Also, if you look at the open hand monument closely, you'll see that it's not just an open hand, it also somewhat looks like a dove, which by the way, is a messenger of peace. For him, the city's brain or decision-making area was the administrative sector of the capital complex, 
where all the arms of government were to be established. The heart of the city was the city centre in Sector 17. Lungs was spread across the city in the form of green space and the leisure valley. The intellect was the city's educational areas, which have earned a global reputation for imparting quality education over the years. The veins of the city was its robust and free-flowing road network or circulation system. And finally, the viscera, akin to organs such as liver and intestines, represented the industrial area and was located such that the industrial waste and pollution never affected the city. The road system of the city is another Le Corbusier masterpiece where the roads are classified as V1 to V7 or sometimes up to V8. V is derived from the French word via which means way or path. V1 roads are the widest roads comprising parts of national highways connecting Chandigarh to other major cities. V2 roads are again some of the widest roads through the major avenues of Chandigarh, going through some of the most important institutional and commercial buildings. V3 roads are important too, going around the sectors but not through them. V4 roads enter the sectors. These are the widest roads within a sector, often bisecting them. The V5 roads branch out from the V4s and traverse the inner parts of a sector. V6 roads are the narrowest, they branch out of the V5s, providing access to the inner parts of the sector, right to the openings of the houses. The V7s are intended for pedestrian movement in the form of footpaths and other small roads through the green areas, and the V8s serve as the bicycle tracks through the city. You'll find a city map on almost every major street to help you locate yourself, without having to ask anyone for help. The 63 sectors of the city are clearly marked on these maps, although the city doesn't have a 13th sector as it's considered inauspicious. The adjoining sectors for every roundabout are clearly marked on signboards for traffic approaching from all sides to help them navigate. Customizable LED screens to notify road users about the name of the crossroad or any other information like diversions are installed on overhead poles. Another salient feature of the city's road transport system is the employment of roundabouts or goal checkers at almost every crossroad. The roundabouts allow for free flow of traffic and for the most part, one doesn't have to deal with the annoyance of traffic signals. The left is always free and slip lanes are provisioned for on all the crossroads. With the country's highest per capita vehicle density, this prosperous city is fond of using private vehicles and with increasing population, there is some visible pressure on the transport system. But compare it with any other city in India and Chandigarh stands head and shoulders above its peers in terms of ease of travel. Traffic lights have emerged on some of the prominent crossroads and are used during peak hours. Although we didn't witness any congestion or traffic jams during our four-day stay in Chandigarh. Parking lots are available across the city and parking, by and large, isn't much of an issue till now. The parking lots show the capacity and status of occupancy for both two- and four-wheelers right at the entrance. The municipal corporation is also gearing up to let motorists know about the available parking space through apps going forward in the future. Dr. M. S. Randhawa, the first administrator of the city, who was also an acclaimed botanist, ensured that every avenue of Chandigarh was planted with beautiful, unique trees from across the world. Every road in Chandigarh has its own unique species of trees flanking it, adding immensely to the city's beauty. The city's roads are in immaculate shape with no potholes or broken patches and traffic rules are relentlessly enforced. Chandigarh is famous for its traffic police, which ensure that the speed limits are strictly adhered to and those flouting traffic rules are dealt with an iron hand. Motorists who are travelling from other states are extremely careful about documentation, such as pollution under control certificates, and ensure that they drive carefully through the city, as the slightest act of carelessness can easily hand them a hefty fine. The speed limit of 50 km per hour for four-wheelers across all the arterial roads of the city is strictly enforced and you'd be lucky if you managed to pass ticketless through the city if you engaged in speeding. You can see alert traffic policemen all through the city who are constantly keeping an eye on traffic movement. Citizens agree that the traffic police in Chandigarh is corruption-free 
and there is no way you can bribe your way into avoiding a traffic rule violation fine. Even high-ranking government officials, judges and ministers ensure that they follow the rules as the traffic police officers back their personnel in issuing chalans to every rule breaker, irrespective of their background. The police officers often have body cams to ensure that the issuance of chalans is video recorded for transparency. Even the senior officers actively involve themselves in enforcing the rules and ensuring that the foot soldiers are carrying out their duties effectively and honestly. We interacted with Mr. Jaswinder Singh, DYSP Traffic Police, and witnessed firsthand his wholehearted involvement in traffic rule enforcement and creating awareness about traffic rules across the city. The traffic police in Chandigarh has also made some small but effective innovations like a reflective large-sized stop sign, wearable in hand, to make policemen's hand gestures visible from a distance, even in the dark. The traffic police also invites citizens to assist them in enforcing traffic laws. As a citizen, if you witness someone breaking a traffic rule, you can take a picture or a video as evidence and share it with the traffic police's official social media handles or on their WhatsApp number. If the evidence is found sufficient, every reported offender is issued an e-challan immediately. Citizens can also report acts of harassment or corruption through the social media channels and suitable action is immediately taken if the complaint is supported by credible evidence. The officer's respect for the institution's integrity is one of the pillars of the incorruptibility of the department. Some believe that the traffic police personnel in Chandigarh get a small commission out of the challans that they issue. This is not true. Although every performing officer is suitably rewarded from time to time for carrying out their duties well. In addition to its devoted traffic police force, Chandigarh also relies on its modern surveillance and traffic control systems to keep traffic in check and accidents to a bare minimum. Chandigarh has the highest density of traffic cameras in the country and a constant eye is kept on almost all the major streets of the city round the clock. Officers issue each challenge to traffic violators with amazing alacrity. For the over-smart motorists who think they know exactly where the traffic cameras are located, the traffic police has its foot soldiers in the form of surprise squads which patrol the city with handicaps. These police personnel hop from junction to junction through the day, catching traffic violators when they least expect it, taking them by a surprise. As if that wasn't enough, mobile radar-based speed camera units of the traffic police keep getting stationed at various points to catch speeding offenders by surprise. Now, the efficiency in traffic management is not just about infrastructure. As you can see here, this road is not very wide. But enforcement, discipline and awareness of the citizens is what really helps. So, as you can see, no one dare park on the side in Chandigarh. The police enforces this law very, very strictly. And for the defaulters, there are chalans. Unless there is an emergency, you are not supposed to be stopping on the road. Alighting or getting on board the car is not allowed at all. And that is why the traffic is always running very, very smoothly. And for those who are speeding, there are these surprise checks in the form of these radar cameras, which find the defaulters and send each challenge. As you can see, there is absolutely no manual intervention. The challenge will be sent home. And in case uh, there is a grievance, they can come and see the evidence as well. As our team tried to film the roundabouts of Chandigarh, we saw some motorists stopping meters before the zebra crossing when they noticed our crew. Clearly, they were aware that they might be reported, or for all they knew, the members of our crew were traffic police personnel in plain clothes. In Chandigarh, no one can really tell. The only way to avert trouble is to abide by the rules, which they duly did. The traffic police has also collaborated with Google's Maps. And the high-ranking officials within the force can update the maps for the city to help the citizens navigate their way better if there's a blockade or diversion in any part of the city. But that's still not all. To help us understand how Chandigarh is gearing up for the future, the good folks at Chandigarh Smart City Limited invited us to the Municipal Corporation Office of the city. Chandigarh, despite having one of the most efficient traffic management systems in the country, isn't resting on its laurels. As a part of its Smart City initiative, Chandigarh has commissioned next-generation 
AI-enabled cameras for a vast majority of its streets and junctions. Powered by the technology of our very own Bharat Electronics, these cameras of the future with some assistance from radars would automatically track down traffic offenders without any human interference, significantly improving compliance and ensuring that not even a single offender is left unchecked. These modern cameras will keep getting smarter with time and can be specified to catch offenders automatically for violations such as traffic signal jumping, speeding, zebra line overstepping, unauthorized U-turns, indiscriminate lane changing and what not. Heck, from what we are told, these cameras in due course can even detect two-wheeler riders without helmets, without any human intervention. There are also 360 degree cameras installed to ensure that the electronic eye tracks the movement of offenders end to end on all junctions. An all new state of the art integrated command and control center has been built for this purpose and will be operational by as early as January 2022. So we've seen in the past how old generation cameras work but this is how the new generation cameras uh, can track down a lot of things that you cannot even imagine. And here you can see that there are radars and there are cameras which are keeping a constant eye on the speed of vehicles and the violators are being tracked in the real time. Uh, the length of this arrow that you see here represents the size of the vehicle so they know exactly the kind of the vehicle which is uh, uh, being tracked and then in the real time all the vehicles are being tracked. These are IR cameras which can capture images even in the dark and if you go to see, these are the three lanes that are represented here and three cameras are capturing all the vehicles in the three lanes and every violator is being recorded. Automatically, the registration plates are being recorded. There is no manual intervention. If you violate any law, if you overspeed or if you jump a traffic signal, a registration plate will be recorded. It will be converted into a number automatically and then the operator sitting here can issue uh, a chalan and apart from that a very interesting thing is that if you violated uh, a law and if you think that you can roam around the city unchecked that is not the case you can be tracked down your history uh, for the past 30 days for the past 60 days can be completely tracked down so if there's a vehicle which needs to be tracked down the entire history of that vehicle's movement can be tracked and this intelligent system is going to find out where all that vehicle went and as you can see right now this one vehicle has gone to all these junctions and all of this is automated uh, the system is constantly tracking the registration plate and uh, if you want to blacklist a vehicle for example there's a terrorist activity or there's someone who is required to be tracked down you just have to add him to the blacklist and that vehicle can then be tracked down, there will be an alarm that will be sent to the police and as soon as that vehicle enters uh, the zone where you have a camera, an intelligent camera, an alarm will be sent to the police and the system will be alerted. So this is just a small portion of what the modern technology can do for us and Chandigarh police is already making use of some of it but come January this system will be improved further, the cameras will have AI, they will have a new integrated command and control center and a lot more features will be added to this system.